Okay, so we're going to do a little test here. One uh, Yaypad tablet, one standard Huawei, have you pronounced that? 3G dongle with a SIM card in it. Just, whoops, there it is. You can see the SIM card sitting there, just to show you I'm not lying to you. We'll plug the one into the other, switch on, wait for the groovy logo. Ooh, yay pad. And pretty soon we'll see the access light lighting up. Now this is, there is, there is a set of um, supported dongles listed. Clearly most of the major ones are, are included. Um, and this one works straight out of the box with no drivers or anything else needed. It's all embedded in the Android system. Another, so here we are. That'll take a while for the, um, just check to see whether that's logged as having found the, we've got a solid green light. I suspect it'll take a while for the, um, the network, oh, there it goes, it's in already. So, possibly see that, let me just get you the front page. And you can see, oops, yes, I've got my messages in. And right at the bottom there you can see the 3G. I've turned Wi-Fi off in the 3G thing in the side there. So uh, I've made sure there's no Wi-Fi available. So if we go to the browser, There we go. Let's try hunting for uh, news. Yep, there you go. 3G working on a, <laughs> a fifty dollar tablet. I mean, it's uh, it's a pretty cheap. Uh, mobile phone actually isn't it when you think about it put skype on here or put a, put uh, any other of the the increasing number of voice over ip apps onto the tablet and you've got yourself a nice little portable communication device um and roaming device yeah not bad there you go 3g working on an ultra low cost tablet, it works.